What is a song? I know that seems like kind of a stupid question, but on this journey that I'm going through to try to get better at songwriting, I've been forced to ask that question myself. I kind of feel like Sasuke going back to the four Hokage and being like, just what is a village? <laughs> I think a song is a snippet of life. And in life, you have moments, moments of happiness, moments of sadness, of love, of pain. And a song can be the most fleshed out expression of that moment of joy, of pain, of love or whatever. But something really incredible about life is that if you start to take it in bigger chunks, it feels deeper and more, I mean, the best way to put it, more worth it, you know? So here's a basic example, right? I love you. Right? Very simple statement. And whoever's hearing it could be like, oh my God, I feel loved. And that's awesome. And you could write a song fully fleshing out that feeling of love. You know, you make me feel this, you make me feel that. I love it when you do this. I love it when you do that. And that's fantastic. And you can definitely flesh out a really incredible song that way. But I think the songs that I tend to really love are the songs that have a bit of an arc in them, a bit of a story arc in them. So instead of saying, I love you, a song that says... I'm in the deepest pits of despair. My life is worthless. I don't really know why there's a point in going on. But then you came into my life and you changed it for the better. You gave me a reason to live. And that's why I love you. Uh, you know, like something with an arc. I, I love the idea of like a story arc. And I think a song, I've said this before, but a song is a story. And a story is basically life. Right? A story is basically a microcosm of life. And I think as I get more into the songwriting process, I want to make sure that the lyrics that I write, the melodies that I write, all have a sense of motion to them because life is always in motion. There are times when life is predictable, and then sometimes it's completely unpredictable, but it's the motion between everything. It's the ups and the downs, the totality of it that makes life so meaningful. You know, you can't experience love without understanding hate and loneliness. You know, you can't experience joy without understanding pain. And it's, it's the delta, it's the difference that makes, the, makes for the most impactful stories, in my opinion. Again, it's great to say, I'm happy, I'm great, life is awesome. It's cool for a moment, but personally, I love it when I hear, my life is utter trash, I'm suffering, I'm in hell. And then slowly you climb up and crawl up that ladder, and then you have a life of meaning. Dude, those are the stories that impact me the most. And that's kind of a positive arc story, but just as well, I love the negative arc stories so Attack on Titan is a series I really love, and Aaron Yeager is, uh, or I'm so sorry, Aaron Yeager is, uh, he goes through a whole negative, uh, negative arc. And I love that too. I love the motion, and I feel like I haven't been around enough stories and music that have had motion. And I, maybe it's because I'm getting older, but I'm starting to want more substance from my music and from my stories. You know, I used to be into all the virtuoso, complicated stuff, and now I just want a story that's got range and movement. I think being able to write a song with that kind of depth and motion creates meaning for the writer and for the listener. And honestly, I think that's what makes life worth living. Like being able to experience the arc of life in these little snippets of music. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. Peace.